Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. Welcome to Let's Play Prey. Um, those of you who watched my PlayStation 4 demo will know I'm very very excited to give this game a go. Um, I'm back on the PC where I'm feeling most comfortable with it now so I've got the keyboard and mouse controls. Very much looking forward to that. Um, I hope you enjoy the game. I'm going to start out with Mel Morgan U. And wait for it all to fire up. I turn motion tra uh, motion blur off on this particular video because I really don't like the effect that it throws on the graphics. Um, so I hope you guys aren't going to mind that too much. Here we go. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Thank you, alarm clock. I wish my alarm clock woke me up like that instead of just sort of ringing in my ear. Morgan. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, Mel. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Picking up a few bits and pieces that I know are scattered around the place. They're gonna come in useful later on. Um, those who have watched my Prey demo will know that the this first episode is likely to be a bit of a retread of that one. I'm gonna explore a little bit further and see what items I can pick up. Um, but for the most part the gameplay is going to stay the same so you know if you want to skip it you can skip it I prefer you didn't but you know it's up to you um, I'm going to try and read out a few of the articles this time around as well excerpt from architects of the neurological revolution what if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes I'd say you're full of it that's the first thought that crosses my mind but it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction despite myself I'm riveted He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Uh, excerpt from an entry in the Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking 2033 edition by Elliot N. Shaw. Transglutamosine, TG or TGase, a naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals and bacteria. TG is often used to band prote uh, bond protein containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls. Known colloquially as, by chefs as meat glue. Chef Shaw's tip, gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. I think the books and things like that, though, I might read out the odd article, but for most of them I'm going to pause it for a few seconds in each one. So you can pause and read if you want to. Um, and then pick it up. Emails and things like that, I think I'm probably going to read the important stuff, you know, um, and keep off on the rest. And I'm just kind of going to be finding my way out a little bit with this one. Mainly because I want to sort of make some progress in each episode, and if I read out everything to you guys, it might take a while. Congrats and welcome. Hello Morgan, so glad to hear you'll be coming on board soon. Your first official work day is Monday 15th of March, but first we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight and I will see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, Talos 1. Delivery. Uh, hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a Neuromod. Install the Neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Alex. Ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with Mom and Dad. They will be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think Mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside of her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's Mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Alex. 8.01 a.m. Quick look in here, make sure there's nothing of use. Nope, right. We better crack on them. Grab the suit. The last suit we'll ever wear. And 
we go. Turn the lights off, because, yay, who wastes power? Morning, Mr. Yu. Hello, maintenance lady. Heard Patricia. there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Probably. Let's head up there, shall we? Now, one thing I did come across the other day, um, I'm not so keen on the way that Bethesda has decided to uh, keep their trademarks on the games. Um, I don't know if you've seen the articles or not, but Prey has... There's, a, there's another game called Prey of the Gods out there, which is a spiritual successor to uh, Shadows of the Colossus. That's been forced to change its name thanks to Bethesda Mr. Intervention. You. Please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Which is a bit disappointing. Um, facility is just a short hop. It's not like it's going to eat into the sails or anything degrees. like that, but Rear skies there you go, away. I suppose. It's one of the things I don't really agree with with Bethesda. I didn't really agree with them not putting out a PC demo. I mean, they've, they've been gone on record this week of saying that uh, Steam refunds basically make the game into a demo, but I wouldn't necessarily agree with that either. I would have preferred to see a proper demo. Um, but again, there you go, we're stuck with it. Got a lovely opening view nice on the right hand side. And a clever little Arcane Studios production across the, I'm guessing that's San Francisco Bridge. A little bit of popping in here and there, which is a bit disappointing. Considering the graphics aren't fantastic, I know it uses the Prey Engine, but it's not like a fantastic set of graphics in comparison to some of the games I've played recently on the PC. The ones I've done for the Let's Plays notwithstanding. Quick sip of tea here. Ah, magic disappearing letters over the bridge, what the hell? And probably the same with the Prey logo when we get off here, because that would just look weird. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. And there they're gone. And they're gone. So, we are going to head downstairs. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Sybil. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Welcome. Morgan Yu, you have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. I said this before on the demo, but this is slightly reminiscent of the Half-Life introduction. I can almost see something going horribly, horribly wrong within short order. Some sort of resonance cascade, you know how it works. Morgan, finally. Can I throw a chair at him? Probably not. Hey. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. You do. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. You're a you family Breaking tradition. Convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Uh-huh. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the Who says you're in good hands. Alright, then so open we'll the doors. Next week. Let me in. I Come promise. Up. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. Oh, flashlight. Unexpected. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but... Trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Okay. Press the red button when you're ready. Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. You sound slightly sarcastic. <coughs> Mr. Bellamy. Dr. Bellamy, sorry. Probably didn't spe spend six years in medical school to be called Mr. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. 
No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Oh, well, in that case. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. <clears throat> Look. Is he? He's hiding behind the chair. I can't see you, so you can't see me. Hmm. Uh... Surprise! Hmm. I was here all along. At all? Hmm. No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural intuitive way possible without thinking just just go for it press the red button when you're ready I like that I felt that I can see my feet you still can't see your arms or anything but I like that you can see the feet in the game it's a small thing but it's uh, it adds to the what's the thing not the realism I apologize Morgan we're having some trouble can't remember the name now not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. It's not sense of realism. It's like a... Oh, shoot. Disconnect or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Suspension of realism or suspension of reality. That's it. Can suspension of disbelief. That's it. Suspension of disbelief. I'll get there in the end. Oi. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Okay. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try somewhere new. Somewhere new. Ah, good. Looks like you've got the hang of it. It's not difficult. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid. I don't know what will happen. Angry. No one has that right. Or calm. It was worth it. I'm going to say angry. <clears throat> Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. This is heavy stuff. Switch the tracks. Good. Next. Runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him onto the track would stop the train. Push the fat man or do nothing. Who come up? Who, who come? Yeah, who comes up with these questions? And why are there so many people tied to the tracks? And why would a fat man stop the train? Almost done. A run runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. Again, seriously, have we got fucking? Dick dastardly running around or something. You could stop the track by jumping onto uh, stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Jump onto the tracks, push the fat man, do nothing. I just again with the fat man. I'm gonna jump on the tracks. Wow, I'm impressed. Wish I was. Well done, well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what. Um, that scientist clearly saw what had just happened there and did nothing. Shit. Oh dear. So, ladies and gentlemen, the opening of Prey. You gotta wonder what the fuck just happened. Alex. Simmons. What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. So, we're already reckoning that Alex knows more about what's going on than he's Good letting morning, on. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. And deja vu. We've suddenly got back in time. But with a bit of a sting. I do like this opening sound, a song. <laughs> Th 
this time there's no message from my brother. No message from Alex. Uh, how do I get to the inventory menu? There we go with I. Okay, so I haven't actually got any any other stuff that I picked up at the beginning of the game. That's a shame. I have to go through and pick it up again. They're mostly food items. They're nothing massively useful, um, but they're going to come in handy for healing us every now and again. We're on normal mode, so we shouldn't be taking a huge amount of damage, but there's always going to be that little bit here and there. Tubing and bits and pieces on the desk. We get the password. New email. Six of them this time around. Danger leave now. EOM. Danger leave now. All from January. Which is weird. Okay, so we're going to have to go and grab the suit and get the heck out of here, I guess. Um, I don't think there's anything else of use in here. Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's crack on. Grab the suit. sip of tea while we're going through this little scene again. Jesus. Patricia is proper dead. Very sad to see. No lift anymore. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not huh. safe. More going on here than that meets the eye, clearly. I didn't expect to be able to get out this way. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Simulation lab. So I said this again in my demo thoughts. I quite liked that sprint and attack was bound to the same key. Adds a bit more of a sense of realism to the sort of thought that you know you can't just run headlong into everything and attack it. You've got to be careful and thoughtful, and you can't go sprinting around and still attack things, you know? That's a bit more of a sense of realism to it. A sense of weight to it. Activity log. Uh, midnight to 7.30, sleeping. 7.31, wakes up, turns off alarm. 7.32, checks transcribe. 7.34 to 7.55, on computer, various tasks. 8.04, takes shower. 8.26, puts on uniform, exits apartment. Somebody's been watching us, which makes sense, considering our apartment is apparently a sham. <clears throat> daily tests. If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The moves to extend indefinitely was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Sylvain Bellamy. Oops. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant neuromod insulation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing definitely. A note about this morning. Oh, I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside your department. A station-wide announcement stationwide will be made shortly in the meantime miss elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have i know some of you are worried about dr bellamy he's currently being treated in the trauma center is in a critical but stable condition thank you for your patience and dedication to this project so we already know there's more going on in this place than meets the eye and we're going to try and head for the exit which is over there But I said I'm going to have a good look around this time around. I want to see if there's anything that we can find that may be of use later down the line. Huh. Hidden door next to the closet door, which is now locked. Some more chat plastic tubing.
I've seen other people complaining about the physics, but I'm liking the weight of things at the moment. I mean, I'm not sprinting quickly by any stretch of the imagination, but considering the suit that I'm wearing... Considering the suit that I'm wearing, I'm not surprised. And that was our first mimic. Decided he was going to hide more than anything else. Another door into the simulation. Huh. I did not expect the simulation to be quite so big. This whole place is just one giant simulation, which begs the question, where are we? If you played the demo, you'll know where we are already, or if you've seen the demo, you'll know where we are already. See, I can use it by hitting E on my pad there. Email. Uh, note about this morning, we've already seen. Lovely blue screen of death. They're still using Windows in the future. Scene selection. Test management. Reset the tests. Don't know why I want to do that, but retest it. Uh, reset the tests. Ah, there we go. We've, uh, we've fixed it. We are tech support. Got ourselves a mimic. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna wanna watch out a little bit. I'll take us through the testing facility we were in earlier, so we're just gonna have a quick look around over here and see what we can find. Morgan's behaviour. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst in the debrief. Pending a psych evaluation, Alex indicated that he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan, nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as is expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is that we need to start charting personality drift before future tests, in debriefings, and within the test itself. Take some paper because why not? It might be useful. Probably won't be, but you know, I can turn it into junk later. Transcribe. Uh -huh. Alex. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Forget about Morgan. So we can get out this way too from the looks of things. Having said that, I wouldn't mind having a quick look round back downstairs and seeing if there's anything else we can get. Like that, for instance. Um, there was an exit area that I thought I saw. Where was it? Got out. I got out. I was heading for the emergency exit. Was that back in this direction? Yeah, it was through here, wasn't it? So yeah, okay. I might have to go... Oh no, there it is, it's through there. That's where I'm aiming for. I knew there was something I'd forgotten. The safe code is... That one. 0327301. That's uh, difficult. There is a safe. There's a code kicking around. Password, Elcop 
0876. This is really bad IC, IT security. I know it's for the game and everything like that, but I kind of feel like the password shouldn't be that easy to find, you know? See, there's even a password policy. Do not share your passwords. Passwords must not be inserted in emails. Do not write down passwords. Ara, ara, ara. Simmons, the neuro te results. The test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuro mods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. So, I'm not quite sure what that code is. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. One second. So apparently we can get this code later in the game, but I'm going to try and give this a go now. Here we go. So hypos and an aggression, aggression amp. Don't know what that is. Ah, increases the damageable side attacks by a small amount. Now I don't think I've got any. Yeah, I haven't got any slots I can use at the moment. That's a shame. But it's worth bearing these in mind for later on. Yeah, there's a, apparently there's a video later on that you can use which will show the code before it gets wiped, but yeah, I'm going to not do it this time around. So we've got what we were looking for there. We are going to look at the X here. Yeah, so we're going to head out now, which is this way, I think. I need to remember this stuff my head and I know I did it a couple of minutes ago but yeah reasons okay so we're heading towards the exit over here did we activate this terminal the way out yes we did so we got the stairs we are heading out of the testing area I'm gonna make these updates a little bit shorter than the hour or so I did with uh, Prey originally. I'm probably going to keep them to about 45 minutes. Should allow us to have some good exploration and some good progress in the same video. And I think that's going to be quite a good length. Especially since we don't have uh, traditional levels in the same way that in the same way that say I do on my Unreal playthrough. Apple now. Uh, we're going to eat the glucosist as well. Between the two of those, that should give me a bit of a boost. Simulation scene LG server status RX SR4BN715816 and 988 all okay. For technical issues, please contact Dr. Lorenzo Calvino or Mio Okabi. No words out in a minute. This is clever, this is very cleverly put together for a, a scene. I quite like getting the roof back there. Now the looking glass, um, it talks about looking glass servers a few times in this game, and certainly in the demo it did. Um, it's a bit of a reference, I think, to Looking Glass Studios, who created the first System Shock game um, before they were swallowed up by um, EA. Um, they, the Arcane Studios, the people who made Prey, went on record as saying that they wanted to make a spiritual successor to System Shock, so it doesn't surprise me that they've used that codename somewhere in the video, or somewhere in the game. Um, there's also something you might have noticed in the demo, the 0451 code, we'll come across that later on. That is traditional sort of System Shock, Deus Ex, Dishonored, they're used in all that kind of game, but the first one it came up in was System Shock. And it's a reference to Fahrenheit 451, um, which is the temperature that books supposedly burn at, based on the book Fahrenheit 451. I'm just going to have a look up here in the ducting, see if there's anything useful. And if not, we're going to head on out. There was nothing there. So we are heading into decontamination. Yuch. So 
So it looks like they suck lifeblood out before. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. It looks like, um, yeah, they suck your life force before using it to create more of themselves. Grab the other med kits. I've got it through the lockers. Got some another Psy Hypo. We don't have anything to use the Psy Hypo with yet, but it might be useful. So we're going to very carefully sneak through here. We have no idea what is and isn't a mimic. Next week's test, we'll need the room updated to the new test plan. Configurations are as follows. Room A, area of effect. Room B, copy gap. Room C, spooky action. Simmons, Simmons, let us know if anything changes. Urgent. Urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taken data related to memory and remote manipulation out of the research department. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card and take the, his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone else finds that data. That's a nice little new little quest for us. Pretty huh? sure there's a mimic in here. There he is. Somewhere. I saw a couple run off down this corridor. So we wouldn't be surprised if we find some more. Flammability tests cancelled indefinitely. I wonder why. Obviously, if you hover over something and you can see something in it, I'm guessing that means that it's safe. Got a simulation lab keycard. Personality drift results. Here are the results from today's personality test. Test. I'm seeing some drift over the last few trials compared with previous results. This isn't the first time. I'll let Alex know. The most recent test is pasted below for reference. You're planning a vacation today. Ah, so those are our, the options we went with previously. Daily tests. We've done that. My people can become to you. So, yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse with the psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress here, but I'm concerned that these are not isolated incidents. I'm going to mention it to Alex at the next director's briefing. Don't think there's anything else in this room of use. No? Okay. We've got the key card, so we should be able to get out of this room, but we are going to explore it a little bit more. <laughs> got your number, Mimics. Got your number. Don't know why it was carrying shotgun shells. I'm not complaining, it's going to be useful, but. Simulation question. Uh, I'll send you the new white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version of it. Gaining a new skill from a neuro mod works similar to the way your brain changes new me uh, creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes that a mod makes from your normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuro mod that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. They wanted Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuro mod, so that means going way the hell back, hence the apartment scene. Yous are dedicated to their science is all I can say. Hit me up for lunch later, Simmons. So that'll be why I can't remember much, or why my character can't remember much. Don't think I can hack that in a moment. I might come back here for pickup hacking. It's going to be quite a useful skill, I think. Stealth and hacking has always been a preference of mine. Take that, Mimics. For better or worse, um, it doesn't always end up succeeding for me. I always sometimes end up fucking it up and having to go full combat. But I like to try and stay stealthy as long as I can. I didn't actually find this in this demo, so this is the part where our paths almost diverge from there. We find something new. Got a hit on him. I got a hit on him. Type an anthropentasmus. Keep moving. It's gonna be 
worth bearing in mind for later on. I'm going to use the code that I uh, the key card that I picked up so that it's easier to get back in there next time around. The noetic field. Air. There's a mimic there. He's l frozen. And dead. Sneak attack. So we have the glue cannon. Our first weapon of the game. Your singe. Sing, sorry. Make it. Glue canister and suit pack it. Um, fires blobs of glue which harden on contact. You can fire a stream of it if you choose to. And you can use it to climb up smaller platforms, which is quite useful. Uh, Natasha Nikova, baseball glove, lemon peel, and glue canister. Anything else up here? No. Gonna see if we can get up there in a bit, I think, as well. There. There's a mimic down there. Grab it. Neuromod, you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. Gonna see if I can go and take out that mimic. Transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. <laughs> Not quite sure what it might have turned into. There it was. It moved. That was its first mistake. Grab some clippings. I'm gonna go and get the neuromod in a minute. Let's see where we progress from there. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna go with update wise this time around. Projector colours are still wrong. Ah! Surprise attack there from a mimic. Didn't see that one coming. Transcribe. Listen. one of the health items I picked up just to boost my health a little bit I'm not going to focus on it too much um, I'm going to have a quick look around here and sort of investigate a bit more before I go and grab the new neuromod because I know have no idea what might happen when I do So if it doesn't freeze them outright, this neuromod, uh, the glue gun at least slows them down enough for me to get a good shot in. I didn't spend a lot of time focusing on this area the first time round, so this is kind of my first playthrough properly of it. And we're going to try and get up to the second floor as well, see what we can find up there. We'll go down to the bathrooms as well. For now, let's take the Neuromod. See if we can apply that Neuromod and get ourselves some upgrades. So, Physician improves med kits, hacking, level 1 measures on computers and robotic systems. Engineer, fix broken grass shifts, lift heavy objects, and security conditioning level one. I think for now I'm going to go with hacking. And I'm going to have to look away for this. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I'd be screaming in agony as well. I hate the thought of being stabbed in the air like that. It's just improvisation has always yeah. been your strength. You'd be 
dead if it wasn't. Right. Now, let's get you to the main lobby. Let's see what else I can find, shall we? There's a basic hacking, so I might be able to hack it. Not quite sure what I need to do. Ah, okay. So it's a quick game. Use the mouse cursors to move the control around onto the target circle and then hit F once you reach it. Weapon upgrade kit, that's useful. I'm already exploring a lot further than I was previously. Reminder, bring up turrets, bring turrets up to fabrication. No password around and level two on the hacking, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything with that yet may come back down here later on. So I'm going to go back to the research and design lab. There was a level 1 computer here that I couldn't get to before because it was locked. It was... was it this one over here? Yeah, so I'm going to hack it now. Let's see, watch out for the electric node there. So I'll go along the top instead. Oh, okay, it's control this time around, so the button's a bit different. That's That put me, threw me off a little bit. What have we got email-wise? We've seen that one. Igwe's talk. Uh, I'll, I join you in the cafeteria, but Igwe's got a lecture scheduled. Here's hoping he gets right to the Neuromod updates so we can do a proper eval on the tech side. But you know Igwe, he goes in on us for an hour until we're all seeing circles and wavy lines. You'd think he would have learned Earthside to stay focused. Uh, reply from Hadley. Tell me about it. I don't know what, he, what scares me more. The time Dr. Wiggy spends in the lab or when he takes to the stage. He's like mis listening to a metronome. File. Ah, nice. Huntress Boltcaster Fabrication Plan. Gonna be taking that. We haven't come across a fabricator yet, but it's gonna be useful later on down the line when we do. Already seen most of the other stuff in here, so let's head out. I'm gonna see if I can get up there, I think, now. For what it's worth, I may pause the video um, just so that you don't have to see the grunt work, but we'll see how I get on first. up here, that's a good start. And uh, no, I've screwed that up a little bit too much. Too badly, but could do with a little bit. There we go. No. Come on. There we go. I'm going to be trying to do this sort of thing a lot more. There we go. See if I can sequence sequence break here and there, or just plain have a look around. Some more spare parts. I'm already somewhere completely different from where I've explored previously. It's worth bearing in mind I could have repaired the grav lifts downstairs probably with the re, uh, the repair skill but it's not something I've unlocked yet so you know we have to use what we've got. I'm gonna wrap up the first video once I've finished this little section. And then, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Disrupt a stun gun. Fish sticks and disrupt the batteries. That's going to be worth a look, I think. Can I get anywhere else here? Level 2, so no, I can't hack there yet. 
This this all looks it's all fine here. Fine here. Banana peel, which I can use for crap later on. I think that's pretty much all of the stuff up here that we can do for now. Yeah, so we're gonna head back downstairs. Grab those and explore the bathroom if we can. We can't move those stuff out of the way until we get another crate. Ah shoot. First roll, should have thought about reloading earlier. Rush him! I think it might be worth me getting the necro uh, necrosy skill later on. If nothing else, it might help. Is it necropsy? Necropsy skill later on. So I can. I'm guessing you can research those organs and it'll give you a damage bo boost against each enemy type. This is probably going to be worth it. Why not? Let's take a drink from the toilet. What's the worst that could happen? So I think we're clear in here. Reload this while I remember. I have a chronic reloading thing going on as well. I have a habit of reloading on a regular basis whether I need to or not. So we are finished with the lobby and we're going to head outside to whatever is next. And I think that's as good a place as any to leave this video. So, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you've liked it, please leave me a comment, subscribe, stick around for the next update. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.